child. Hold on, hold on. Somebody. They got that skunk. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, were they transporting in this? Yo, they had to be. Woo! <laughs> Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never ran, said a no, man, I still go Go, 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 Hello, darlings, it's Dion Dean. Welcome back to another video. I have a super duper mega haul um, from about five stores. You guys know as a thrifter that sometimes you can find everything in one store or you can find five, find five things in five different stores. So that is the case today where I found, mo I found multiple things in multiple stores. So let's get into it. Um, Riley and Daddy are doing homework, so you're gonna hear them in the background, but you guys know it's real life. It just is what it is. What it is. So the first piece that I, if you're not following the Instagram Dion Dean's Closet, a lot of times if I'm not able to get a video up for you guys, I will always feature pieces. And so this was one of the pieces, these two, um, I, featured both on Dion Dean's closet. This is a new with tags denim vest by Miss Sparkling, which is probably just a fast fashion brand, but I'm all about denim on denim right now. I am chomping at the bit. I just did a, and I still have on the jeans for my wide leg um, oversized jacket look, and I really wanna do the same thing, but in like gray. So I'm all about denim right now. And this is the time of year when I can actually get away with wearing denim in South Florida. Um, next up is New with Tags Iman, genuine leather. This is a extra small, um, but she does have some stretch under the arm. Extra small. I just love this color. I love a dove gray. Dove gray and like a yellow. I feel like this would be amazing. Anyway, this is an extra small. Those two I have on hangers because that indicates to me that I have already taken a picture of them. Um, this is a what size is this i feel like it was a large i feel like it was a large large vintage denim jacket with shoulder pads and what i love about this is the arms i love when you give me kind of a a balloon arm and then you what is it called sheep something mutton 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 sleeve something like that um i think it's a mutton sleeve my designers let me know mutton sleeve um but i do love when it's all puffy and then it goes into a into a sleeve like that let's see if we can put that right here and then i have these this is kate mallory size 14 mixed material white biker pants so it's kind of like a ponte knit and then we have some faux leather at the knee just giving biker vibe and then it also has the faux leather detail on the back. You guys know, was it a fake pocket? Was it a fake pocket? Ah. Um, you guys know, I only sell what I like. <laughs> so I really like these and I'm looking for something like this. If you guys um, followed my content this past week, I was at Afrotech and I, listen, I'm, she, she's gonna be comfortable, okay? She is, I, I was fighting sneakers for a long time. Now it's gonna be a designer sneaker. Okay, we know this is gonna be an off-white. It's gonna be a Valentino, it's gonna be a Saint Laurent. But I am loving a sneaker right now. And so anything that can be worn with a sneaker, including those biker, <laughs> biker-esque uh, ponte knit. Um, so this I got, this is Pamela McCoy collection. This is a 3X. And I think I might be keeping this for my holiday vacation because it does have where the faux leather is separating. It's new with tag but I'm thinking she might be a keeper. And I got it in this caramelly, not caramelly, it's like a gray caramel, but I got it in that color and I got it in black. Now here's the thing, I have something like this. Hold on, let me get it. I have going into my, I've been pulling a lot of my out, a lot of my outfits um, for my outfits of the day for Pinterest. If you're not following me on Pinterest, do you need to do so? So this is my Torrid skirt. And I've had her since Chicago. So what, five years? Five years? Um, she comes out every fall, winter, and I absolutely love her. So that being said, I don't know if I necessarily, if I necessarily need it in black. So this is the same one, Pamela McCoy. So this is a little bit shorter. Let's measure it against, because I will say I have to wear this with um, with stockings because she is short, okay? So if we look at 
Is she much shorter? I can't tell. Can you guys tell? Oh, she's a little, oh, not that much. Not that much, but this one is extremely short. Anyway, that being said, I might put this up on Posh. If anybody's interested, she is a 3X and she's the same as this. The only reason I'm gonna keep this is because of that little marking. But if you wanna do a bundle, let me know if that doesn't bother you. Then, I mean, it doesn't bother me. I'm definitely <laughs> considering keeping it if nobody if nobody claims it. So that was one store. Let's go into store number two or bag number two. So let's see if I remember what's in bag number two. Because I've been stockpiling. I'm like, I'm, I'm going to do a video for my, for my people. I just don't know when I'm going to get to it. All right. So leather shorts. I am on the hunt for faux leather and leather for you guys. How are you going to wear leather shorts in the fall winter? Easy. Just like with that, where I put on a pair of opaque tights, I wear mine with a pair of, pair of, uh, pair of opaque tights. You could wear an ankle booty, pair of opaque tights, a cute little jacket, and you're good to go. So definitely, there's, there's multiple ways that you can wear a faux leather short. So this is, oh, there's no size. I'm feeling like she is, oh, she, this is Zara Basic, size extra small. So that's it in black. Then we have, and I'm looking in all sizes. This is Paper Moon. This is a fast fashion large. So again, an opaque tight. And you can play with color. When it comes to tights, play with color. You can. Do, you guys know, I love a pink tight. Have your pink tight and a mustard yellow tight. I actually have them in all colors, but my my pink tights and my mustard yellow, I love. But a mustard yellow tight, a brown boot, come on, a cute little sweater, I love it. I love it for us. Um, I actually, this actually needs to be on a hanger because I took a picture of this. This is a theory. Oh, I wish you guys could feel this. I'm not. I'm not rubbing on myself. Theory, <laughs> lambskin, um, blazer, and. It's the old label, so it's it's an older older um, model, but it it's navy, it's size four, and this just feels like money. Like if there's anything that felt like money, this feels like money. It is a size four, and it is buttery, buttery. Um, I got this. This has a few markings on it, but this is a uh, new frontier suede. Is this suede? Yes, 100% suede, because sometimes there's micro suede. And I didn't want to lie to you. So this is a suede top, and I'm going to show you how I got it. A lot of times, I, I'm still shopping as if I'm doing a live, and I'm, again, I'm going to work on getting back to lives. Um, but I got this, and then I got these pants to go with it. This is a size, size runway legging, size 10 long. This is a size 10 long from White House Black Market. And I just loved this shade of blue against the shade of pink. I just thought that was really unique. So this is a large, vintage large, and this is a 10 long, 10 long. But it's the color, the color, the color, the color. So there we go. <sighs> Why did I get this? Will this sell for me? I don't know, but I'm not gonna leave Millie to go to a, a landfill. So this is a size six, Millie. And the reason why I'm asking if this is gonna sell because it will take a very bold person to wear this in the fall, winter. So this is for that person that wants and knows that they are going somewhere next summer and they want Millie in their lives. Um, again, I would wear it. Um, I'm not afraid of print. I've been veering a lot into blacks and neutrals. I think that's just my state of mind right now, but trust and believe when we get into spring, summer, I will be, bringing back print i think in the fall winter i typically do stay neutral just looking at pictures looking at my pinterest from last fall winter um the only thing that i'm really doing differently this year is incorporating more denim and more sneakers because i'm doing more travel and just doing you know more things where i'm not having to wear a heel um this is favelux size medium and i just love the cut i just love the cut of it right cute little crop and then i got this velvet definitely holiday velvet worthington size 12 belted velvet jumpsuit size 12 black velvet at that so put this with that gray let's see 
let's see this is the extra small so we're not gonna we're not gonna merchandise it together because this is a 12 and this is an extra small but i just want to show you some ways that you can wear it so you put this on with a really cool really cool leather jacket oh this the the velvet against the oh do you see that the velvet against the leather the sheen and then the mat but I don't have to I don't have to tell you guys how to dress you guys know you guys know what you're doing in that department that I that I have noticed from my live shows um, let's take this off because I don't want hold on I don't want to dirty up the um, dirty up the belt it is black velvet and it is blackety black 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 it's a beautiful shade of black we don't want any dirt on that all right let's put this on here i have become let me tell you something about therapy the most organized <laughs> put things back in its place type woman over the past month and a half we'll have a whole conversation about that i'm gonna definitely definitely do a catch-up video um but this is calvin klein in this mint green this is also a jumpsuit this is also i think jumpsuits with blazers and i think that's how we are at least in my world that's how we're we're merchandising them um but i just love i love this color i love the mint of it all it's not a tiffany blue it really is like a pistachio it's like a pistachio color so love that and then last but not least, and I don't know where the adventurous ones are in this group. Actually, I know you guys are all on my lives, which is why I need to get back to my lives because I miss you guys. <sighs> Anthropology, new with tags. Do you see this? Do you see the cut out in this of it? So this is new with tags. The tag says it is originally, it was 128. New with tags, 128 size medium. But look at this. Do you see that? That's the top. That's the front. And this is the back. So if you are that adventurous young lady, maybe you're going to Mexico, maybe you're going to the south of, no, it's going to be cold in the southwest. Maybe you're going somewhere warm for the holidays and you're like, sis, I need that. Well, here you go. Here you go. All right, so those bags one and two, bags three, four, five are on the floor. So let's transition and then we will get to those two. Let me put these away. Let me be neat and orderly. All right, so these two bags I just put up on Posh. This first one is a Dooney and Burke pebbled satchel i'm gonna call it like a work bag but it does have wear on the edges which you guys know when i put stuff up on posh i put like 800 pictures so um if you want to see detailed pics of the inside there we go but what i love about it is that you get to see the real leather working of this bag just like you guys know i'm like in love with coach right now like i just want eight thousand coach bags and so I ain't gonna lie to you. This is this is very tempting um, to put in my closet because I love that it's structured. I love that it's pebbled leather. You guys know I just I love a good leather bag. That being said, that being said, taking it all the way back to my teenage years, I found this vintage Mark Jacobs bag. I actually have one um, in silver, and every time I look at it, I'm like, I really should sell that because I have not worn it in such a long time but it's I mean it's vintage Marc Jacobs like this is when Marc Jacobs was Marc Jacobs Marc Jacobs is still Marc Jacobs and it's definitely the brand is definitely him as a brand has definitely um been back in circulation especially with the tote bag and with the monogram but this is when Marc Jacobs was Marc Jacobs honey this is Marc Jacobs um pre Louis Vuitton um for those of you don't, that don't know he was the person that brought 
ready to wear to Louis Vuitton. So for me, like he is Louis Vuitton. Whenever I think of Louis Vuitton, I think of Marc Jacobs. So I'm a huge Marc, Marc Jacobs fan. That being said, I already have one that I should really send to the real real. So I'm not gonna keep this one. Although when I saw it, like this right here, this brings back such nostalgia because every girl and their mother wanted this this Marc Jacobs bag. Anyway, she's gonna go up on Posh. She, uh, well, she's definitely seen better days. Um, there, the edges, sorry, I came too close. And then we have the Marc Jacobs. Just seeing this, just, I remember being in the stores and being like, oh, one day I'll have a Marc Jacobs bag. And look, now I have two. <laughs> All right, so let's get into what I bought. What did I buy? What did I buy? Oh, there was one bag. I think they may have separated the bags from the clothing. Honey, there's one bag. <laughs> if you follow me on Instagram, then you've already seen this bag. Um, so this is a jumpsuit. I got it in gray. I have it in gray and I have it in green. This is really just a casual, this is a size large, I believe. Just a casual jumpsuit jogger bottoms i call it jogger bottoms but i don't know if that's the technical name but just a really casual jumpsuit i got it in gray and then i kept on going and i found it in green as well so this is something that you put on with a camel coat you put it on with a camel i have what do i have here i have i'm always gonna have something honey. this is why i love doing lives so you put this on with something like this. Ooh, hold on. Put this on with something like this. You go about your day. You go about your day. Comfy, casual, just so good. And I really love the back of this jacket as well. So yes, so comfy, casual. There we go. Um, I got these jeans, I'm actually, Remember, I shop for myself, okay? The reason why I'm such a great posture is because I'm buying things that I love. It's just not my size. So I actually want something like this um, in my size, and I want a jacket in this size, a denim jacket in this size, but I really, really... Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Um, just some denim joggers. I just... And I also want, like, a black-gray situation. I don't know. Anyway, these are INC, um, size 10. And so, oh, here's the front. Here is the front. And here is the bottom. I don't know if this top is too summery, but I don't think it is because I feel like a lot of us are going on vacation for the holidays. Um, this is style way, size medium. Um, off the shoulder, I'm imagining. This is a size medium, so it's going to be quite oversized but I'm assuming that you're wearing it like off the shoulder, has a huge voluminous sleeve. And again, there's so many different ways you can wear orange pants, red pants, jeans, pink pants, however you, however you decide to slay, you decide to slay. All right, so I got these torrid itty bitty shorts for myself. What I'm really thinking I wanna do is style it like an oversized black sweater or oversized cream sweater. I'm gonna, I don't know, I'll figure it out. But they were such a good price, so I was like, I'm gonna get them. Um, these I got for you. This is Andrew Mark Extra Large. These are that same material as the um, the faux suede blue, or not faux suede, like Michael, you know what I'm talking about? Like the stretchy suede feely. <sighs> What's the actual? What's the actual fabric content? So I'm not, oh my Lord. I feel like the, it's getting smaller and smaller. Uh, it's polyester spandex, but it has like a brushed suede feel to it. Hi. All right, so then next we have an ALC pair of pants, and these, these are a size 10. And so ALC, is of course a designer brand. And yeah, I don't know what the A, the L, and the C stand for, but I loved the pale, the pale pink. I feel like a nice white sweater or a cream sweater. Or you can just hold it to the spring and wear it with something else, but I feel like pale pink 
a pale pink sweater, a pale pink pant and a white sweater. Sorry, I'm trying to get, I'm trying to crease it. I'm trying to follow the crease of the pant. There we go. I hate when people they want a creased pant when they don't follow the crease of the pant. It's like the crease is there for a reason, people. All right. Um, oh, and then I found, you guys, I found a faux leather. Uh, this is in a size 2X. Jolie and Joy. So I did find a larger size faux leather pant, faux leather short. And so, yeah, so we have a small, I believe it was a medium, and now we have a 2X. So there's that. Let me put these in here gingerly. And then we have, I really need to do a live sale. That would be awesome. Um, okay, so the bags. I have so much stuff. I really need to do a live sale. Um, <laughs> this is a Mondani basket weave crossbody bag. Let me show you the basket weave. Hold on. Just going outside. And the fabric's coming in. Is he going to make a guest appearance? All right. So here we have Mondani. I think that we're splitting everything up. Then we have a Cole Haan. I love, what I love about this is the actual handle. So you see that the handle's black and cream. I love that. That detail just does something to me. All right. So <laughs> let's talk about this bag. This bag is a Maj. This thing smells like a whole lot of weed. <laughs> My husband's over there. You want to come over here and smell it while I'm on camera? Yeah, come smell it. <laughs> Say, hey, guys. Hey. Man, that's your date. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you have to cuss? I'm oh, sorry. I'm oh, sorry. It's date, man. Ooh, <laughs> Yo. child. Hold on, hold on. Somebody. They got that skunk. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, were they transporting in them? Yo, they had to be. Woo! So, I don't know if I'm going to be able to sell this because I don't know how yeah, to get it. They might like it. That's the style. I know. <laughs> I was like, I opened it up to look at the price. I was like, whoa. I don't know how to get the smell of weed. Oh, man. I don't Google know. Google it. Google it, man. Anyway, <laughs> this is the bag. <laughs> and I got it knowing full well that it may just stay in my in my closet because as you can see we don't mind the smell of weed in this household um <laughs> wink wink all right so this is a j crew leather crossbody bag and oh, lord am i does this smell like it too maybe you got contact from another person <laughs> the purse got contact the purse got a contact high <laughs> oh my god um, let me see, because this, will this be staying with me as well? <laughs> Hold on, I'm gonna see. Oh, all right, Maverick, okay. They're over there playing. So if you want this bag, it's a J. Crew leather bag. I don't know if it's leather though. Hold on. I need to find something, it feels like leather. Oh, hold on. Gosh, why do they make this stuff so little? I will let you know by the time, by the time I list this, I'll let you know if it's leather. And then last but not least, I got these for myself. You guys know the only jeans that I wear other than these Target jeans are Good American. So whenever I find Good American in my size, I'm gonna cop it. So this is a Good American. And I love a, a shredded up jean, so a shredded up skinny jean of that. So I love Good American. Uh, Good American and Slink are the only two jeans um, that I wear that I feel comfortable in. I don't wear a lot of jeans in South Florida because, of course, it's hot as Hades. And, it, like, jeans, they have to breathe. Like, they have to let air out. Does that make sense? Anyway, let me go on with this weed bag and see if I can clean it off. I don't know what they were transporting, but, yeah. Anyway, I will, um, I may actually hop on live tonight. I don't know. Either tonight, Friday night, Saturday, I have to do a live because I'm just accumulating all this stuff and I really do miss interacting with you guys. So um, we will figure it out. If there's anything that you see 
that you want me to list that you have an interest in. You're like, girl, put that to the side, post that. I want that. Let me know. You can DM me at, on Instagram um, or you can send me an email, Dion at DionDean.com. All right. I love you guys so much. Oh, Lord. She's a maverick. <laughs> go, go.